Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Holmes, and today we're gonna to talk about chronic stress and the autonomic nervous system. Autonomic meaning automatic. The autonomic nervous system controls things that we're not supposed to have to think about. For example, our heart rate, digestion, bladder control, breathing, all the things that we don't have to think about on a daily basis that should be taking place at a normal rate. We have two parts of our autonomic nervous system, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic. That parasympathetic is our rest and digest, that sympathetic is that fight or flight response. We should be living predominantly in that parasympathetic state. About 99% of your day should be spent in that rest and digest mode. That sympathetic state is on standby for an emergency situations. For example, a, a buffalo is charging at you. That sympathetic nervous system is supposed to uh, turn on so then we can run and get, get away from the uh, scenario or the life-threatening situation. So how we live in that parasympathetic state most of the time is with a healthy functioning brain. That parasympathetic, as you can see, is part of what we call the PMRF, Panto Medullary Reticular Formation. It's a nice mouthful. It is a network. It's a process that is part of our, our central nervous system. A healthy brain, especially a healthy frontal lobe, sends about 90% of its information to the PMRF, and then we get in action. Part of that action is to shut down the IML that's actually found in our spinal cord on the lateral horns. That IML is, will trigger that sympathetic nervous system. So a healthy functioning brain will trigger the PMRF for an appropriate parasympathetic action and dampen that sympathetic response. So we, when we are in that parasympathetic state, we are in that rest and digest mode. So what does that mean? We have normal digestion. We, have, we don't have constipation. We don't have diarrhea. We don't have acid reflux. We don't have a nervous belly. We have normal digestion. We have normal enzyme production. So we can break down foods appropriately and we don't get massive amounts of bloat and massive amounts of gas. We have normal blood pressure. That's really important because remember that parasympathetic, that autonomic nervous system controls things automatically that we don't have to think about, like blood pressure. That parasympathetic state causes a normal blood pressure. And we are overall very happy and calm. Now, when we have a brain that is very weak, we have chronic fatigue, we got massive amounts of brain fog, we're under high stress all the time, whether that's physical stress, emotional stress, or chemical stress, we live in that sympathetic dominant state. We have a poor functioning brain, meaning poor firing. If we have poor firing of our brain, it can't activate the PMRF, and that PMRF, PMRF cannot shut down the IML. So what does that mean? That sympathetic dominant state doesn't have anything standing in its way, and it can now be the predominant state. We are now always in that fight or flight response. We get really sensitive to light and sounds because our eyes are always dilated at this point. We get lots of headaches, high anxiety because we're real wound up all the time. Really poor digestion, whether that's constipation, diarrhea, acid reflux. We get uh, really low amounts of stomach acid, a really poor enzyme production, which means that we're not breaking down our foods very well to absorb those nutrients to be healthy individuals. So that by itself can enhance a poor functioning brain, and we get into this vicious cycle. When we're in a sympathetic dominant state, we can also see dry eyes, dry mouth, massive amounts of fatigue, brain fog, and even incontinence. So living in that parasympathetic state will shut down all of this and we can live and we can have healthy digestion. And digestion is so important because that's where we absorb all of our nutrients so we can have healthy cells and a healthy brain. We have normal enzymes, normal blood pressure, normal breath, all of those things begin to normalize if we can push ourselves into that parasympathetic state with a healthy brain. So what are things that make our brains unhealthy? What are things that will stop it from firing into that really important PMRF? Well, things such as B12 deficiencies, folate deficiencies, high amounts of inflammation. What causes high inflammation? Poor food choices. So the more you can stick to a healthy style of eating, the better your brain's gonna function. That really makes sense, does it not? So when you are able to, when you eat food and it's packed with nutrients, those nutrients are food not just for you to have five minutes of happiness, the, those nutrient-dense foods have things in there that are going to make your cells 
cells healthy, cells happy, brain happy, and overall we become very happy individuals. So there's some other things that make our brain sick, so chronic anemias, chronic infections, and of course, blood sugar issues. When we can get those physiological stressors taken care of, we see a healthy, functioning brain. We live in that parasympathetic state. We have great digestion, great heart rate, great enzyme production, and we live in a happy, calm life. So if you found this information interesting, I highly recommend you check out some of our other videos. You can, they can be found on Facebook as well as YouTube. And I highly recommend that you check out our website. Our website has lots of blog articles that are uh, based off of research that goes over this type of stuff in great detail and things that you can do to get your health to where you want it. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.